Welcome to New Beauty Online Medium. Today, let's guide you through the process of how to use Trello for beginners. This is an actual powerful tool, project management tool, to help you organize tasks, collaborate with teams, and streamline your workflow. So first of all, what I'm doing here is to signing up or logged it in. I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description just in case you don't have an actual account and you might have your actual Trello totally for free. It's going to be asking you, of course, what brings you in here. So that's totally depending on what you're actually aiming for. And of course, you want to just follow the prompts in order to continue and to start adding your team, of course, and choosing your very first 30 day free trial. In this case, I'm going to just move for the free version. So let's move on directly into how we can create our actual new board. So as you can see, we are inside the actual Trello. After logged it in guys, what you wanted to do is to click into the create your new board that appears directly into the left part. So what you can do of course is to try it out into the upper side that says create of course and I have create a board, start with a template or create a workspace. In this case, let's try to look out for a template. Now template is going to be helping us to uh, let's say add more elements to automatically and just what I need to do is to fill it with all the information you wanted to get started with. Assuming for example that I wanted to get started with the project management, then as you can see we have a template specifically for project management. So we can change the board title. For example, let's go for YouTube 2024. I have the best ability. Let's go for workspace, all the members of my actual workspace that I created. And lastly to keep my cost. And I go for create. So once we have created our first board, let's understand a little bit about the interface. So just take a moment to familiarize yourself with the Trello interface. At the top, you have the board name. You have, of course, um, the menu options. The main area consists of columns. So this one are called the listed. On the right, you have the menu where you can manage boards, settings, and integrations here. Now creating your very first list. So to start organizing your board by creating lists, the list helps you guys to categorize and track progress of your tasks. So common examples include the to-do list, the actual uh, done here, add to cut, the listing, in progress, for example. So in this template, we do have the project results, questions for next meeting, to-do, pending, and blocked. Since I'm actually working into YouTube, what I can do is to go here, now, for example, to add this as ideas. Now here, let's go for recorded, or let's go for videos um, to record. To-do list, here into pending, let's, let's go for the process of the subtitling, where it says blocked it, I'm gonna leave this as it is, and I have that done. Even I can add another list. So into this new list, for example, what I can do is to do some brainstorm ideas, like the actual idea that we have here into the lab hut. So now what we can do is to customize our cards. So to customize our cards, what we wanted to do is to click into add a new card here, which is add card. So this might be working as a sub menu. And here, for example, I have ideas. So let's say for example, that I'm gonna be using the idea of this video, how to get started. So now I have my very first card created. If there are a few cards that you wanted to delete, uh, of course, with the template that was created, just go for achieved, and we are no longer seeing it. Now what I wanted to do here is to edit my actual card. So if I clicked here into my card, what I can do is to set up the due date, attach some files, add a checklist, assign members to the card, and of course, all of this for better organization. Now, lastly, if you wanted to move your cards between lists, for example, this idea now is going directly into videos to record. And later into the to-do list, uh, it's now into the subtitling process. Um, maybe it's kind of blocked it, and when you finish it, you pass it into the done section. So this is how uh, the actual cards is working. It's gonna be really easy to do it so I can follow along. Now, guys, we can collaborate with the team members. You can invite people here into the upper side, it says chef just by sending an actual email address or people who are already here into the Trello.com application just named it and automatically it's going to be appearing here. Or choose to create a actual link so you can share this and everyone can join as a member or of course can join as an observer. That's totally depending on the plan you're currently using. And here I can use it only for a free person as members. And I hit now into show. 
So the Trello boards with power apps can help you to get started here. What you can do is to focus into the menu. So it usually appears here into the right pod. I scroll a little bit down and I have power apps. Power apps are like the integration that you can just follow along with the actual Trello. For example, you can enable more categories. For example, here into analytics and reporting, I can add a track time. I can add Google Forms. I can add the team again, for example. I can add burn down charts. So use the one the best suits for your needs, guys. And of course, follow the prompts to get started. And there's a lot of elements that you can just get started. And for example, there's whiteboards, there's publicated 3D view, and so much more, guys. So guys, that is actually it. Like a really easy way of how you can get started with the Trello for beginners. With this flexible and intuitive interface, the Trello is a fantastic tool to managing price and stay organized. So guys, with that being said, if you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video. Stay tuned for only media for more valuable tips and tutorials. Until next time.